Okay, everyone. So how are you? I hope you've had a great week. I hope you're ready to kick off a brand new week. And um, I, you know, I've opened up my classes store on aliyahconnect.com. Uh, however, this is just a word, no class today. This is just something that I want to give directly to you. Um, this is what was on my mind. It says, um, your relationship with God is a necessity because he created the invisible code that is your purpose. So many people um, are doing very well in life and there aren't many reasons in their mind, at least at that time, to connect with God on a daily basis, to read the word of God. The word of God is not easy to read. I mean, that's coming from a woman who absolutely loves God and loves being in the spirit. But there are times when I'm like, what is this exactly saying? And the word that you can discern, the word that you can um, interpret is going to be the word that is powerful in your life. So I spent a lot of time trying to correctly interpret the word. But once you do, I mean, it is absolutely powerful. So the reason why I think it's absolutely important for us to spend time with God and to spend time in the word of God is because God is the only one that actually knows the code of our purpose. And it is up to us to discover that code. No one, no one on this earth has that information, okay? So it says, um, to successfully discover your purpose, the word of God must be your daily focus and it will make your purpose clear and indestructible. I can tell you uh, personally, there was a time in my life where I was young and I was growing up and um, I started to get curious about just what was going on around me. There was a, there was a Jay-Z video called uh, On to the Next One. Many of you probably remember that. And it had a lot of symbols and people were like, you know, this symbol represents the, the devil and this symbol represents this. And, and at a time in my life, I was just kind of like, well, what does that mean? It's like, you know, um, it says curiosity uh, kills the cat or gets the cat. But I definitely think that my um, my path was becoming destructible because I was starting to open up my mind to these different um, symbols and, and songs and thoughts. And I'm not saying Jay-Z is and whatever. I have no idea about that. But I, what I'm definitely saying is when we do not have a daily focus on God, our vision and our purpose becomes destructible. It is when we stay within the Holy Spirit on a daily basis that our path is clear and indestructible because it's the Holy Spirit that is guiding our way. Now, that's also not to say that you won't have battles to face because Lord knows I have definitely faced some godly, uh, some godly challenges. And so uh, the next thing on here that I want to tell you is um, there, there are three things I wanted to um, tell you that you may want to consider doing. Uh, number one is to discuss everything with the Holy Spirit. It says doubt and fear will be replaced with hope and courage when you talk to the Holy Spirit. Uh, there are times where I'm not, I'm not even uh, consciously in a conversation with the Holy Spirit, but I've attuned my my spirit uh, to be able to discern it. And it's a, it is a very quiet voice. And, and if you ever want to know what is and what is not the Holy Spirit, think about whether or not what you hear is a hard voice or a very soft voice. Because God comes through in a very soft, graceful voice. Where if you're not paying attention, you could really miss it. And so God will tell me to do something or tell me to be somewhere or not to be somewhere. And I'll do it. And I, I won't even know exactly why God is giving me that word uh, through the Holy Spirit. But sure enough, 100% of the time, it is God letting me know exactly what to do and, and, and where to be in order to stay on my path. Remember, always stay in communication with the Holy Spirit and always be anticipating the word of the Holy Spirit in your life. I'm telling you, it is so powerful and it's not uh, just one person who can get access to this or, or only the anointed ones. No, we are all children of God. Christ is in all of us. Everyone has access to this word. It's, it's really about decluttering our mind and getting still in order to be able to hear that still small voice. All right, here's the second thing. It says, let the truth of scriptures be the foundation of your joy and your actions. Whoa, when you think about your foundation. I'm a really foundational person. I, I teach uh, foundations of math and algebra one, even at my high school. And like, I'm, I'm very, um, I'm very centered on our foundation because if our, the foundation of our life is solid, that's something that we can build upon. And I'm really interested in building and even, you know, building knowledge. And so, uh, Deuteronomy 28, one tells us to hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord, thy God. So when we let the voice of the Lord in the scriptures, 
uh, be the foundation that support our joy and our actions. I mean, you just can't go wrong. When you have scriptures memorized and you can always direct your mind and your imagination to what God says you are and uh, who God is in your life and who you are in Christ, I mean, there is nothing that can really tear down your joy. You know, when you think about all of the energy, and I work with about a thousand kids and, you know, we see each other uh, on a daily basis, whether we're commuting or whatever, but there are so many opportunities for your way to not be straight, right? For your joy to be broken down or or for a certain type of energy to change or transmute your energy. But when you let the scripture be that foundation that just keeps you still and sturdy and full of joy, I mean, that is just something that you can use to build upon your success and use to stay steady as you move forth in your journey with God. It says, uh, the scriptures are unfailing and tell us how we should think, feel, act, and speak. Those four things are really powerful to think, how we should feel, how we should act, and how we should speak. These four things are like the four pillars to our success. You know, what we are thinking determines our, our, our how we elevate. Uh, how we are feeling determines our output. What are we giving? Even what, are, what is the energy that we're giving off? What's the quality of work that we're giving off? How do people feel when we are giving our service? That That's determined by how we feel. Um, how we act and, of course, follows along with how we feel and then how we speak um, is definitely how people, uh, one way that people, uh, or one tool that people use to determine uh, our own quality, whether we like to, to understand it or not, because the words that we use and how we speak are, are directly correlated to the thoughts that are in our mind. So we definitely want to be in tune with the Holy Spirit for the highest quality um, uh, tools to be able to come forth in the best manner possible within those four areas. It says, try to remember uh, a scripture a day. Uh, I, I'm still working on this, but I know that when I need those scriptures, they, they just come to mind. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. You know, all of these different things, as soon as you need them, they are there. And so if we're going to memorize anything, I would definitely say memorize the scriptures, <laughs> okay? Uh, let's see what's next on here for you. It says, uh, as you read scriptures and obey God, he will reveal himself to you. Just imagine that. You know, when you're doing the hard work and you're interpreting the word of God, what you can anticipate is God revealing himself to you. I mean, how mysterious is that? And how, um, how amazing is that, right? You have a sure way to discover who God is, and that's the word that he left us. It says, uh, when we read, the script, read, read these scripture, scriptures, uh, we will be moved into higher states of being, and heaven will open up to us. Uh, I definitely believe that we can experience heaven on earth just as well as we can experience hell on earth. <laughs> and so uh, reading the word of God can definitely open up those gates of heaven here while we are on this earthly experience. Finally, let me take a look at this third thing that I wanted to tell you. It says, Hosea 4, 6. In Hosea 4, 6, God says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. I mean, this scripture, really, like when you think about this scripture, the one thing that stands out to me is that God wants us to be knowledgeable. Think about that. God wants us to be knowledgeable, equipped with wisdom. You know, there's, uh, you know, uh, Eve eating off the, the tree of knowledge and things of that nature. And if we don't really discern what that scripture is saying, it, it almost makes many people, can make people feel that God didn't want uh, Eve to have knowledge. It's, certain, it's specific types of knowledge that we don't need access to, that we don't need our minds and our energy to be, uh, our minds to be exposed to and our energy to attract. And that's a whole nother level. But knowledge in general is not a bad thing. And again, God wants us to be knowledgeable. It says the Bible is the ultimate information source. The ultimate. There is no greater source of information than the Bible. It says God uses so many tools to distribute information to us, including angels. Now, this is huge. I heard a wise man say, if you are not communicating with your angels, you are automatically communicating with a demon. Think about that. If you are not communicating with your angels, and, and, the, and the meaning of the word angel is messenger. So if you aren't communicating with your messenger, who's God sent to you to give you specific information to carry forth your journey, 
in the highest and most straight manner possible, then you're opening up yourself to, to, to listen to a, another messenger, not from God, who will give you information that will make your way not so straight. Okay. And you've probably hear, heard me saying that ever since the last class on uh, Jesus' Beatitudes, where you know keeping your way straight is the ultimate goal um, in order to open up the narrow gate to success. And so please be speaking to your angels uh, to... Um, you know, clear out the way uh, for you in, in terms of your workplace, in terms of your family, in terms of giving you the information and knowledge you need to take yourself to the next level. I mean, there are so many conversations that you can start right now with your angels and see your life absolutely transform. I mean, that's a whole nother video. I'm very much interested in that. And I know for sure that demons can definitely talk to us and angels can too. And it's about staying in tune with the Holy Spirit that we disallow uh, information from the enemy to enter into our channel okay now it says you cannot succeed and access the purpose and blessing God has for you unless you know what belongs to you now in order to know what belongs to you you have to read the word of God and really surround yourself with people who are able to discern and interpret the word of God that you can communicate with and listen to and cultivate the energy of your day-to-day -day life with and hopefully I will be one of those people in your life so those are the few things I want to leave with you in the meantime I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video <laughs>